Hi guys, so today it's Kofi Ayo, the honest weirdo. The reason why I could not drop this video last week is because I feel utterly unqualified to discuss such a subject because I feel like I'm just saying it in a theoretical way and I am not actually practicing what I am preaching, I guess, even I'm not really preaching, I'm postulating. Yes, the love I preach or I talk about is even might seem even more fanciful than the love that we know from movies and books and the patterns we have seen play out between lovers in this our short life. But since I am the best, I feel like I can still talk about what has like puzzled the mind of the best philosophers for millennia. Love. In my last video, I discussed fear and I went really, really biological because I often think of it as an emotion. But that's not the case for love because one, I know you normies out there do not like to listen to deep dives on complex subjects. So I will keep it shallow. Mm. Another is I don't really consider love an emotion, but yeah, it's a struggle because I was taught to view the state of being as a limited form, like I had to view it as an emotion. And most times love is romanticized because it is mostly limited to erotic love, like that is the one you are supposed to seek. So true love, cynics swear that it doesn't exist. But love struck dummies like myself believe that it is a goal worthy of aspiration. And you might be wondering, what is it with something your girl doing talking about love? But I have links in the description. At the first draft of this script, I was sitting at my table in my room. I had my partner lying on my bed sleeping. I looked at him and I don't know why I'm telling you guys this story. I do not know because it feels a little bit cringe. But they said that to beat the cringe, you have to be the cringe. So let's continue and I was looking at him and I felt this magnetic pull to merge with him like this attraction Do you get it you get it probably if you've ever loved anybody have you so yeah that was the vibe and I was like what is this feeling is this love nope this is not love this is attachment and they don't go together for a long period of time but in the beginning yes emotional attachment is very important and it is very good and it helps you to even say okay this person i like this person i want to treat them differently i want to treat them specially i want to put in the effort so yeah that is that feeling that gets you going but as you stay in a relationship that feeling can only go so far because that feeling is the same reason why you would yell at your partner or do some other very hurtful things is the feeling that breeds jealousy is the feeling that breeds resentment that makes you feel like you own your partner and it can lead to many toxic behaviors but like most things emotional attachment like exists on a spectrum so it's 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 not always that bad but it can go from just the attraction to serious stuff like addiction like your like and even some weird behaviors like some psychotic things and that is why someone will beat up their loved one and say that it was love. Meanwhile, it was emotional attachment making them act out in toxic ways. So if you can understand the difference between love and emotional attachment, you're one step ahead. Love is less is not selfish and it is directed towards the other. And we have to recognize that the other is unique and separate from us and emotional attachment clouds our eyes to that it makes us think that we and the other person are one and i'm not saying like it's going to be very confusing because love actually makes us feel like we are one so why would i hurt this person when i am that person and if you understand like cosmology and if you understand even basic science you know that all living things are made of carbon like that's a basic building block of life but all things in the universe are made of atoms at least 
things matter let's call it are made of atoms so we are all made of the same stuff and the whole goal of being of evolving is to like for the ego to dissolve and i am saying that emotional attachment makes you see the other as as part of yourself but it's not in the way that love does um the emotional attachment way is i need to control yes this person i need to make the person behave exactly as i want i have to keep give them unfair expectation not realizing that all human beings are different but love kind of oneness is that okay this person right now we are on the material plane so there are there's the ordering that there's an ordering that occurs when we exist on this plane of division and you can't really escape unless you're very woke and i am not very woke. love kind of um oneness is this person is a is is we are one so this person's interests actually are my interests so why would i get in the way of making that happen does this person deserve happiness the way i deserve happiness what can i do to find in the middle ground where we can both feel happy it's an understanding of the fact that we are separate people we are unique we are autonomous and I cannot claim to love this person and not want them to do what will make them happy or what will make them feel fulfilled. Like what kind of love is that? If if the fulfillment is so far away from what I want for us or for myself, then I should leave this person alone and allow them to have. Sometimes love is letting go, like allow them to have the freedom to, to explore that part. And yeah, that is what a lot of people don't like want to understand but i don't know if i have been able to say what is clear then speaking on compromise like the middle ground i mentioned just a few seconds ago so it, the thing about this is that it does not even feel that way it just because you're seeing the other person's interest as your interest it feels like you are doing what you want for yourself you are benefiting so you don't it doesn't feel that difficult once you're in that headspace but i don't know if it's it's something that you can do right now and it's okay we we're all exposed to the wrong idea of love the selfish one the ones we see in movie where the emotional needs of the main character is centered and that is what is emotional attachment centering your own emotional needs and like putting your partner's own way below that and yes i understand that putting your partner's emotional needs above your own can lead to some level of abuse in a relationship and when i was trying to get this episode together i was not sure how to separate what i'm talking about love from abusive relationship the thing is abusive relationships are one-sided like one person is is giving, 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 and the other person is taking, 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 taking. But love relationships are not that way. It goes back and forth. And another thing I realized is that in love relationships, it doesn't feel like you are doing all the giving. It actually doesn't feel that way. It doesn't feel like you are sacrificing your happiness for the other person's happiness because like the other person's happiness is your happiness so that toxicity that element of i am hurting myself is not there in a loving relationship i think i'm done okay so thank you guys for tuning in and i hope that you like this i was really trying to get my thoughts together this is kind of why i didn't want to shoot this episode because it felt i felt a little bit in over my head but if you gain anything from this if you have new insights into what love is you could just tell me or do you think differently leave a comment remember to like share and subscribe and bye